Chief Peace Advisor Jesus Dereza says President Rodrigo Duterte is changing strategy to resolve the communist insurgency. Duterte met with leftist cabinet members Monday night to discuss the breakdown of talks with communist rebels. Dereza says, quote, He gave specific instructions on how to deal with the present situation, including the possible next steps following the cancellation of peace talks and the unilateral ceasefire declarations. Social Welfare Secretary Judy Taguilo, Agrarian Reform Secretary Rafael Mariano, and National Anti-Poverty Commission Chief Lisa Massa were nominated to the cabinet by the National Democratic Front, which represents communist rebels in talks with the government. The resident government chief negotiator and labor secretary Sylvester Bello were also in the dinner meeting. Hours before the dinner meeting, Malacanang demanded that the Communist Party of the Philippines agree to a bilateral ceasefire agreement that will put a stop to the New People's Army's collection of revolutionary taxes. While the military calls it extortion, the NPA justifies it as a legitimate function of the revolutionary government. Senator Lila de Lima on Tuesday appeals to cabinet officials to save the country from a criminal ruler by declaring President Rodrigo Duterte unfit to lead. This after retired senior police officer Arthur Lascañas testified on the existence of the Davao Death Squad and Duterte's involvement in it when he was mayor. Sa mga miyembro ng kabinete ni Pangulong Duterte, maaari niyong isalba ang bansang ito mula sa isang kriminal na pangulo sa pamamagitan ng pagdeklara na dahil sa kanyang kriminal na pag-iisip ay wala siyang kakayahan na gampanan ang mga katungkulan ng isang Pangulo. Dalima adds the President's alleged key role in the death squad and the extrajudicial killings in the Duterte's war on drugs constitute high crimes which could become the basis for an impeachment complaint. The Commission on Higher Education on Bank unanimously agrees to impose a moratorium on all field trips and educational tours in all higher education institutions or HEIs following the Tanay bus accident. At least 15 people were killed after a bus crashed into an electric post Monday. On board were 50 students from Besting College of the Philippines who were going to a camping trip in Tanay. Shed Commissioner Popper de Vera says educational tours and field trips are regulated. HEIs must inform the CHED regional office about the activity a month before it is held. The Land Transportation and Franchising Regulatory Board is set to issue a 30-day preventive suspension order against Panda Coach Tourist and Transport Incorporated, the bus company involved in the accident. Vice President Lenny Robredo says the country should not move on from lessons learned during the 1986 EDSA revolution or else it could end up repeating the mistakes of the past. Her brother's statement comes a few days before the 31st anniversary of the revolution that toppled dictator Ferdinand Marcos after more than two decades in power. It will be the first anniversary after Marcos was given a hero's burial last November. The Edsa Revolt or People Power Revolution anniversary is celebrated on February 25 each year in grand festivities. But presidential spokesman Ernesto Abella earlier said this year's celebration will be low-key. Robredo says the anniversary is an event that deserves more than a quiet celebration. Robredo, who defeated the late dictator's son, Bongbong Marcos, in the 2016 elections, adds the country should continue celebrating people power to preserve history. Philippine Foreign Affairs Secretary Perfecto Yasai Jr. says foreign ministers of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations expressed grave concern over Beijing's militarization of the disputed South China Sea. The uh, ministers have expressed grave concern as well in so far as what we saw and perceived as the militarization of certain areas in the South China Sea. At the same time, they noted the need to sustain the momentum of dialogue in order to ease tensions in the region. Yasai chairs the ASEAN Foreign Ministers meeting in Boracay Tuesday. The Philippines is the ASEAN chairman this year. He also says the ASEAN is hopeful a framework code of conduct in the South China Sea will be finished by June, but adds that the ASEAN and China need to thresh out critical areas to finalize the framework COC. He says the ASEAN ministers express that the COC must be legally binding to be meaningful and effective. Yasai says the ministers also discussed the illegal drug trade. <laughs> 